If we, if we have uh, two samples, sample A and sample B, and that's what we have, that's the nutrition example, what we could do was to calculate the confidence interval uh, for sample A and the confidence interval for sample B. And then we can actually conclude something by comparing these, but we also have to be careful. Because right now we can see that they are slightly overlapping. Now I'll skip this slide and then just jump to the thing that you need to remember. That is, um, if you have, if the, if the two confidence intervals do not overlap, then you can be sure, then you can be sure that the two groups are significantly different. So a null hypothesis of note, uh, difference would be rejected. So if the confidence intervals do not overlap, we can conclude that they are significantly different. But if they do overlap, we don't know what the conclusion is. It can be that they're different, but it, also can, it can also be that they are not different. So that's just what you need to remember. Be careful. If, but if they are not overlapping, you can conclude that they are different. If they are overlapping, you, you cannot conclude anything. And the reason why is that, well, the basic reason is that if you, if you uh, would compare, if you would say that they do not overlap so we can conclude this and this, then you would actually do the same thing as comparing the uh, standard deviations or you would add them together, but that's not, you need to add the variance. But I'll, I'll sort of skip that and just leave you with this. Remember, uh, to remember, uh, yeah. You can conclude, if they are not overlapping, that they are different. Okay, next thing. Is the pair set up? And 